Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me live on location at the Beer Town Brewery. We've got another fantastic draft release collaboration. This one is called Judas Paw. It's a 5.7% ABV smoke pour brooding collaboration with um, Oscar Blues from Colorado. So, oh, he's, he's him in it as well. Yeah, <laughs> you know him. Get shout out. He's, he's, Hangs yeah. around like a bad yeah. smell, doesn't I it? Do. I do. <laughs> Can't get rid of me. <laughs> so, bear in the glass. I mean, it black as black as like it's like shiny coal, and it? it's like you know, it's like if you've ever opened like a a, um, a jar of treacle. Yeah, looks yeah. like that, doesn't it? Like, head, odd colour, really. I mean, it's got it's like it's warm, warm grey with a slight greenish hue. It's, it's oh, it might be just my t-shirt reflecting yeah. off it. I don't know, but yeah. So let's check out the aroma. A lovely, yeah. Sorry, I've already dived in. A lovely. Oh wow. Smoky, it's got Oscar, Bl Oscar Blues and Beaver Town somehow yeah. mixed in there, haven't it? Well, obviously, Smog Rocket. Yeah, is, um, yeah, they're for a uh, big one for Beaver Town. Probably one of the early ones I ever had, actually. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a bit of that kind of like Roush malt kind of smokiness. Yeah. It's, it, it's like smoked cheese, it's smoked meat, it's that. It's not kind of like burning embers of a fire or something no, like that. No. And then there's walnuts. Molasses, coffee. Well, it's more of like a really intense kind of smoky, kind of like more earthy coffee, opposed yeah. to like a, a very fragrant, sweet, juicy one. But once again, I mean, every beer I've had, I mean, it's it, the very unique. It's unlike anything I've ever had. I mean, I mean, I've had smoked pores before, but this is so specifically different. I think. Yeah. I can't wait to dive in. Yeah, let's oh, dive cheers. in. Cheers. Oh yeah. Nice body to that, isn't it? Oh, creamy, smooth. Oh, lovely. And we we reviewed a couple of beers today from Beaver Town, but I think to put a port or last, I always try and leave a port to last. Okay. It, it just it just gives it that because it's not hoppy, is it? It's not meant to be no, no, hoppy. No. It, it's a big malty base. Mm. Your, your obvious chocolate coffee caramel. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it. Yeah, it's hinting towards like a bit of a bit. Tar-like, yeah. it's, um, there's, there's kind of a certain leatheriness to it. it. There's a definitely kind of like topsoil kind of thing going yeah. on, but it's yeah. earthy. Smokiness is well contained, there's a good amount of it, but it's not overpowering. There's a little bit of kind of baker's chocolate. Yeah. Kind of, I'm yeah. going to go brand wise, bo bit of Bonville, maybe. Bonville. Dark chocolate. Because it's a it, more waxy kind of like dark chocolate. Kind of, like, maybe maybe a, a lovely coffee with that whipped cream on the top. I, I went to a Weatherspoons the other day and we had a, um, a, 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 a finished coffee. Uh, I finished the day with a, with a hot chocolate with, with, with whipped cream on the top. Yeah, it's yeah. Got, almost got that, mm. yeah, that creamy, chocolatey. Nice kind of like toffee as well. I mean, intense kind of molasses toffee kind of thing going on. Really, it's lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. Like, really the smoke just hangs about. It kind of wafts around you like factory system. It's it kind of it's back up in your nostrils and it. I mean, it's it's, it's that's damn time, damn tasty. Brilliant, brilliant beer from Beaver Town Brewery. Lovely stuff. See you next time. Cheers.